sign up for the blood drive, you're going to be given different times of the day to sign up. So make sure you're signing up based off of what class you have because you'll be gone from an hour of class. The day before and the day of, make sure you eat and drink and different height and weight requirements based off your gender. So make sure you either go on the Red Cross uh, website to check those requirements to donate or you can get the information sheet from outside Mrs. Hawthorne's room um, or you can check the emails that were sent to you. Assess than donating whole blood. You need to generally be a specific blood type but since most students don't know their blood type we're just looking for students who are willing to try it. So when you sign up you just kind of want to be a little bit on the bigger side. So you football players, I'm looking for you, um, or wrestlers, to come out and try it. But girls, I encourage you as well. With that said, it's a little bit different than doing whole blood. With whole blood, you only have to donate for about 6 to 10 minutes. The Power Red process, it takes about 20. Why? Because believe it or not, you put a little smaller needle than whole blood, you take your blood out, we centrifuge it, we just keep the red cells and then we put back your plasma, your platelets, as well as a saline solution. So it's kind of like getting a drink of water with your blood donation. And actually, most people that do this type of donation feel better because you're not as depleted with whole blood.